Good evening and thank you for joining Nightly News as we bring you the latest headlines from this week. I'm your co-host Celine Arif. And I'm your co-host Gunja. And tonight we're going to jump right into our international news and we have a story for you that is as tragic as they come. A Lion airplane that contained 189 passengers crashed into the Java Sea shortly after takeoff from Indonesia's capital, Jakarta. While this plane ride was only expected to be about an hour long, it crashed into the sea after a mere 13 minutes in the sky on October 29, 2018. Recently, Boeing has been under fire as accusations from the Lion Air Company claim that this specific Boeing type of model airplane didn't include a warning in their manual about a critical feature that could cause the plane to die. And this accident came just a year after 2017 was recorded the safest year for airline passengers, according to the Dutch-based aviation consultancy TO70. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by this tragedy in Indonesia. Earlier this week, a photo quickly surfaced online that went viral following anger and astonishment. This picture was taken of a group of boys before their junior prom. Almost all of the boys in this photo have their hand raised in what appears to be the Nazi salute. The photographer, when questioned about this photo he took, said that it was just an innocent photo and he meant nothing by it besides asking the boys to wave goodbye to their parents. Also, in national news, the FDA is putting in place new measures regarding e-cigarettes and vaping. The FDA is attempting to put in place new measures after vaping has increased almost by 80% among high schoolers and 50% among middle schoolers in just the past year. And while vaping is intended to help adults lean off of cigarettes who do have an addiction, the FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb told CNN in a statement, it can't come at the expense of addicting, addicting a generation of kids on nicotine. Moving on to local stories, boy do we have a good one for you about Seattle and singles. According to Wallet Hub, a personal finance website, if you live in Seattle, your chances of finding love are pretty high right now. Really? Yeah, so um, they compared more than 180 U.S. cities using 34 indicators of what they called, quote, dating friendliness, unquote. They created a list of both the best and the worst cities to be in as a single right now in the United States, and Seattle made it on the best list. Gunja. Guess where we placed on the list? Hmm. Ninth? No, a little bit higher actually. Sixth? Yeah, bingo! So, um, Seattle was actually ranked number six on the list, which is not too shabby, I would say. Also, in local news, there is a softball game on campus today, Friday the 16th, to celebrate the efforts of everybody who voted in the recent midterm elections. Now the story of how this game got started is actually really interesting. The Seattle Times published a news article originally titled, Will Millennials Care Enough to Vote or Go Play Softball or Something, which was a direct quote said by one of the people interviewed in the article, a 90-year-old Frank Schneider. In this article, Frank implies our lack of care and knowledge on the importance of voting. He feels this way because according to the same Seattle Times article, the oldest Americans in America today are three times as likely to vote as younger generations. Well, he might think that's true. It's a fact that young people have voted in historic numbers for these midterm elections, making it the highest turnout rate since the age was lower to 18 in 1972. I think a lot factored in this time around as to why there was such a high voter turnout rate. For one, the survivors of the Parkland, Florida shooting, which took the lives of 17 of their classmates last year, launched a nationwide voter registration drive to encourage more voting among our generation. Also, Taylor Swift took to Instagram and announced to her fans, who are of a younger generation, that she will be voting and encouraged them to do the same. Right, and many other celebrities also Instagrammed and tweeted and took to social media to encourage voting among the younger generations. Along with that, they also taped a two-hour telethon event made to encourage younger voting among our generation. 
And here at PLU, our own Civic Engagement Director, Senior Riley Dolan, worked hard all semester long to promote voting on our campus and really get the word out about the importance of practicing your democracy. His team put on various events all semester long geared towards voter awareness, including multiple ballot drop-off parties, which really got people excited about voter awareness and practicing their rights to vote. So, to celebrate the voting success with our generation in the midterms, there will be a softball game at the Olsen Fieldhouse from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. today. Hope you can all make it and come enjoy your time with everyone who showed the world that we can care about more than just softball. Absolutely, and we do. We care about a lot more things, including all of our viewers at home who tuned in to our first episode of Late Night. Yes, we appreciate you all and can't wait to get back to the, for the next episode. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Celine Arif. And I'm Gunja. And we hope to see you next, next week, Lutz.